Hey everyone, it's Femme Frog Crowds here. I hope you're excited just as much as I am to get going on this little experiment I want to try and do. My husband kind of came up with the idea of epoxy, epoxy resin popsicles, which will take uh, just even when, as you can see, the size of these are going to be a lot of epoxy. So, what we went ahead and decided to do was go ahead and get some filament for it, which I actually had some on hand, and that'll kind of help cut down a little bit on those, on a lot of that epoxy that I'd be using. So here I have some of uh, some stuff that I got from the dollar store. So, and those are actually reindeer moss. And then right here is some moss stones that I found. And then I want to also try to do is, and I also want to try to do is some, um, so basically I found these on Amazon. They're like little fake ice chips. They're actually really kind of cool. I was going to use them for a different kind of project, but this works out well. And then some big and small styrofoam balls and seashells. And then also, and then I also tried and found these at the dollar store. They're like little branches that were kind of cut up in slices. And then I was going to turn and use this for another project last year, which is some snow, um, fake snow, or so I'm sorry, snowflakes that I also found at the dollar store. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get some epoxy mixed up. So now I got my epoxy all mixed up. And so I'm going to go ahead and get kind of started and score some little small cups for help with mixing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the seashells. And right now I'm just kind of trying to find like some little small but not too small. So kind of like a different kind of, a different kind of an arrangement of seashells to be able to put in there that will fit. But that will also kind of fill up a lot of that space. So I know some of these seashells are not going to fit. And as you can kind of see I'm just kind of. Just kind of push them in there, not too hard to where they break, but just enough to where it will, well, I'm not using all that epoxy, and it just, and so basically it'll just kind of make that filament a little bit better off. So again, just kind of trying to find the little small ones, um, and also a different kind of shape, different kind of color, so they're not all the same kind of thing there. Okay, so next I want to go ahead and use some of the reindeer moss. Again, like I said, I found this at the dollar store. Really easy. And, of course, I was going to use this for another project of mine as well, which I'm still going to do. And so I'm just going to kind of not truly shove it in there, but just put enough to where, again, the epoxy will kind of go around it. And hopefully it'll be that filament so where, again, I'm not using a bunch of epoxy and wasting and going through it like it's water. So I'm just going to kind of push some of this in there and then go ahead and get my next thing, which I want to try and use my moss stones. And again, I'm going to kind of, again, find these at the dollar store. And again, I just kind of want to put, kind of just push them in there. And hopefully I can maybe get three. I'm kind of hoping for three. So, so far right now, I just got two in. Is that third one going to fit? Nope, nope, that might be, nope, it's overkill. So, all right, so I guess this the two will work for that one for right now so hopefully this will you know we'll see how that one turns out so next i want to try and do work with the big and small styrofoam balls so right now i'm just kind of working on pouring in the big styrofoam balls which i got from as a, uh, the present so these actually did not fill up too fast and of course some of them want to escape but, you know no fun <laughs> but yeah so go ahead and put you know pour as much as i can in there but not overflow it because i gotta remind myself that i'm putting Epoxy resin and also those popsicle sticks in there. And now I'm on to my little mini ones, which again, I'm going to try to pour as much as I can but not overflow it. And hopefully these ones don't go bounce around everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and get those poured in. As you can tell, I am right now. Okay, so I finally got those poured in. And check it out. Get chunk of that bag out. And then next, I want to turn and go ahead and work with my. Fake ice cube, um, small crush ice cube chips that I found on Amazon. And you can get them actually for kind of cheap, actually not too horrible. I got like 600 for about 8, 9, 10 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, I'll have the link below. So then next I want to go ahead and work with, again, I found these at the dollar store. These little, little twigs, little branches that I found. Um, I really want you, don't want to use too fat. Uh, probably the skinnier the better because then at least I know my epoxy is going to go around it. And it'll actually like fill up like a shit. So I'm, really, I'm kind of like really hoping for these ones. Um, again, this is just kind of an experiment that 
I figured I'd go ahead and try instead of wasting a bunch of my epoxy. So I'm making sure those are in nice and secure so they don't go anywhere, which I highly doubt it. And then next I want to turn around and, and next I want to go ahead and work with my, <clears throat> my fake snowflakes kind of thing. And this thing, I swear, I feel like I made them one heck of a mess, which I'm trying not to when I pour these in. But of course a big bag and whatnot. But I mean, I'm kind of... I kind of have some promises for this one as well. I mean, I have promises for the whole experiment alone because I'm really kind of hoping they turn out really, really well. And, and whatnot. So I'm trying to get all this in here without making too, too big of a mess. Because one, you know, one less mess I have to worry about trying to clean up. So as you can kind of see, I'm kind of struggling a little bit. So I'm hopefully got like enough. And I know probably one, two, three of my other slots that I have some stuff in, but that's okay. I'll probably give it a little bit more creativity there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this poured in and then we'll get going on my epoxy. So here I kind of wanted to do a alcohol blue ink for my seashells. So I went ahead and got one of my small cups that I had on hand and I went around and used the, it's called Forget Me Not. It's from Alcohol Ink. I'll have the link below. I also got that from Amazon. It comes with a different, different kind of colors. So here I just kind of want to mix away from my regular epoxy because I don't want to put the blue in my silicone beakers. And then I only have the one and then I have to try and clean that out. So I figured this would kind of help a little bit. And plus I don't know how much blue I really need. So the little the better because then you can always add more later on. So I'm going to go ahead and get my blue, my, uh, my blue alcohol ink mix in with my epoxy and then I kind of want to pour this over my seashells. <clears throat> and that's actually not, actually not too bad of a blue. I kind of like it. A little bit light, which works for me. So not too bad. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this poured over my seashells. And I'm just going to kind of slowly, but kind of get all around the whole sea, all around the whole little slot where all my seashells are kind of packed into. I just want to make sure all that epoxy gets in the little nooks and crannies and just make sure I get it nice and full. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this filled up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of my epox uh, the rest of my slots for the epoxy. So I kind of noticed that very first cup wasn't an, wasn't truly enough for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another little batch of uh, my blue alcohol ink epoxy, which is gonna take up the rest of the epoxy in my silicone beaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of that up, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that poured into my little section of seashells. So I'm kind of hoping this is the final, like that would be enough for it. But again, experimenting, I don't know how much is going to take what, except true with all these different kind of elements. So I'm really kind of crossing my fingers that this is going to be truly enough of it, which I want to say that was about 40 to 60 milliliters of epoxy alone in that little beaker. That's between both the A and B of epoxy resin and the hardener, which of course with the brand that I use, it's like, a, so with the brand that I use, it's like a one to one ratio. So it's like one part A, one part B, so it's pretty much between the hardener and the um, resin. So fine, so I'm kind of hoping that was enough for blue for my seashell. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go lightly with some of the other fillers that I put in. So right now I'm just kind of working on getting, kind of going, be probably got to go between the two styrofoams, the small and the big styrofoam little balls that I have here. So again, as you can see, I'm going slowly, but very little, cause I want to make sure that epoxy kind of sinks in to my filaments that I have. Which kind of makes me a little bit worried about these styrofoam balls because I'm afraid that they're going to rise up and they're not going to, feel like they're going to or they're going to absorb the epoxy a little too much. I mean, I never know until they are feel until it's officially cured or at least most or until it's hard enough. It's hard enough to where I can try and get this all demolded or take it out of the mold that's in and see how they really turn out at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my stuff filled up. And I'm probably going to have to make another batch of epoxy the way that and this is starting to kind of look. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to make a third batch, which I'm sure I probably will. 
because I'm kind of running out as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get this filled up and make my, and more likely make this third batch that as I can kind of see right now that, yep, it's I'm pretty much at my end. So yep, I'm going to go ahead and make my third batch and I'll be back in a few minutes. So as you can see here, I had to make a third batch of epoxy and then of course I had to make another little cup of my blue alcohol ink epoxy as well again because I guess that was the other batch wasn't enough. So I'm really, really hoping this was it. I really can't cross my fingers on this one because I never know what's enough, what's not. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my little creations filled up. So which it looks like it, I'm going to have to make another one. So that was like four cups right there alone, which pretty much took, oh gosh, at this rate right now, I can't even keep track of how much epoxy I have to mix together as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and make my another set of blue and get that poured into my epoxy, into my little seashell again. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my other creations filled up. So I'll be back in a, bit, a few minutes again. Okay, so literally this is my sixth time making and mixing up my epoxy. I want to say my epoxy ranges from, my gosh, I don't know, like 40 to 60 milliliters between each. So you can kind of do the math there alone. So right now I'm just kind of finishing up, pouring the epoxy in my little slots. And as you can kind of see, if you really watch kind of closely, my branches are kind of rising up from the epoxy, which makes it a little harder. Same thing with my big... Sorry from ball, um, balls. So I'm kind of having to push my sorry from balls down and plus kind of play a little bit of, as you can kind of say, maybe whack the mold, but this is more of like whack the branches. So I'm, I'm, I've been cons constantly, I mean, as you can see right there, right there, I'm constantly pushing them down. And um, I know some of, a little bit of the video was kind of cut out from that, but yeah, it was like literally pushing them down constantly while I'm trying to pour rather than my other little slots to get, to get them feel where I kind of want to be. And again, when you pour in something like this into the, into the um, popsicle slots, don't overfill them because you got to remember, you one, you have your filament stuff that you pour put in there if you do. And if you don't, again, just don't overfill it because you got to remember to, you're still pushing the, your popsicle sticks into the little slots. So I'm going to go ahead and push <laughs> keep pushing down my big star from balls and my little branches as you can see they're rising up again I want to keep pushing them down and I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling up my popsicle slots so I can go ahead and get them covered so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and I'll be back in a minute okay so I'm done filling up all my little slots of my popsicles with all the little filaments in it and so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my little torch and you can take your little torch that you can try and use for your grill or an actual torch blow torch yourself to pop out some of these bubbles um i almost want to say kind of one of those vacuum decompressor seal thingies that i've seen some people ha um, have were probably really good for this because then it really brings like all those bubbles would be released and whatnot but of course i don't have one of those so i'm kind of improvising with what i have and again i'm fighting with those styrofoam balls including the little um little branches that keep popping up so i'm gonna go ahead and get those situated and hopefully they'll stay down i'm not promising myself and then i'm gonna go ahead and get this covered so i can let this all set for 24 hours okay so i finally got all the my epoxy finally done and poured into my little popsicle slots with all the little filaments in it so i went ahead and got it covered and of course i kind of forgot <laughs> where I started and ended with my filament, so that took me a second there. But now I'm just going to go ahead and insert my little popsicle sticks in with... And some of these are going to be kind of harder just because of the little filament that I use. And some are going to be a little easier. And that one was a little hard to even get pushed into there because for some reason I couldn't. So right there, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. That was my milestone that I had. And I thought it would be easy to push in because I thought they would separate. But I guess not. And so then this right here is my reindeer moss, which easy to push in. No problem. No problem at all. And right there, I'm just going to try to hold down because I'm afraid those big siphon balls are going to pop right back up again. And then last but not least is my seashells, which I struggled. So here I kind of struggled a little bit to get those in, pushed in 
and why not see in DC and I'm just struggling but so I struggled a little bit with the seashells so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for the next 24 hours and see what they look like pretty much tomorrow so I'll see you guys in about 24 hours okay so now it's been about 24 hours and I let these set overnight so I'm kind of hoping that these will turn out really well my husband had to help me kind of push these out because they're a little bit hard struggle for me to get out myself and we actually had to push them from the bottom so and one of them when I was trying to wiggle it and them free I kind of had a little bit of issues trying to get them out or at least broke one of the sticks by mistake so it's good to push from the bottom not from the stick itself because like I said right there you can see that wiggling I kind of <laughs> broke that so I tried to glue it together so here I'm gonna go ahead and push out the reindeer moss that I did and I think it turned out kind of cute. I like it. I kind of wish, and after, you know, think about it overnight, I kind of wish that I put the sticks in first. And then put my filament around it. Kind of put my filament around it. And then when I put the sticks in, and then it would say epoxy. So that might have been a little bit better, especially for this. Since when I pushed the stick in, I kind of pushed that moss down. But all in all, I think it turned out kind of cute. Um, I would like to try to do this one again. And see how it looks. But it's a little bit better view with the light. A little bit better to kind of see so again all in all I think it turned out good it just I like to try it again with putting the stick in first and then putting the filament around it so next we have the moss stones this one was kind of a struggle to put that stick in there and it even struggled to try to get it out um didn't turn out too bad kind of kind of looks like a tree almost in a way if you kind of look at it and it was one of those like you know kind of bush trees or whatever but the two little yeah, <laughs> the ones that you, little fancy ones that you see in the movies there. But all in all, I think it turned out really, really cute. So I had to kind of move my table back a little bit and kind of adjust. So next is going to be those fake crushed, the fake crushed ice that I got from Amazon that I was going to use for another project. I actually kind of like this. I think it turned out actually really kind of cool. And it almost kind of looks like, <laughs> I don't hate to say this and make everybody gross out, but it kind of reminds me of those skin cells. But I think it looks really cool with that three-dimensional kind of going on. Alright, next is that fake snow that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And this one actually did not turn out too bad. The top could have been a little better. But all in all, not too horrible. It's kind of, kind of shiny. Kind of not, you know. But hey, you know, it turned out kind of cute. But again, I'm just experimenting and seeing how this all kind of plays out but you know all right next is going to be those wood logs or branches i'm sorry and i kind of wish those things would have stayed in the epoxy but i think they turned out kind of kind of cute well, maybe probably use it for a different kind of project we will see but i mean all in all experimenting i just kind of wish they didn't float to the top but yeah kind of interesting not too bad Alright, next is going to be those little mini styrofoam balls. And I think this one kind of turned out actually not too horrible. It turned out actually kind of cute. It reminds me of um, um, of the dipping dots. Or even like um, confetti cake. Anyway, I think it turned out actually really kind of cute. Um, I kind of wish it got pushed a little bit more to the bottom. Because the top of where the, where the very bottom of it is, it's kind of still, you can still feel the styrofoams. So my big styrofoam balls is next. Mm, kind of hard to get out. There we go. Alright, not a big fan. I kind of wish that they didn't truly, truly fold to the top because that's a lot of epoxy that could have filled up. But eh, not too bad looking. Kind of cute. Kind of not. You know, yeah. And then last but not least is the seashells. I kind of wish I used a little bit of a different blue. Or not as a dark blue as much as this but it's not too bad again this is one of the very one that I have struggled with trying to get the stick in so I kind of pushed some of that outwards and made it a little bit harder to get out I mean I think it's kind of cute it kind of reminds me a little bit of a you know soap on a stick kind of way I guess you can say but all in all I think this is a really fun experiment I really do enjoy making this and I kind of hope this helps you out so get creative like subscribe and comment below and I will see you guys next time